All right, I really made a mistake here, and I want to talk about it. So let me delete these lines. So couldn't sleep, woke up early. Probably going to take me a nap at lunch. <laughs> um, but I missed this. So break level here. Break level here. Break level here. So let's look at this and how I should have done this better. So price up, price up, price up. And this was a higher high. So there really wasn't much writing on the wall that we were going to tank. Um, but price came down, took out this little break level. And I can't say it took this out, but man, I mean, it basically touched it. So when it was started to come back up, I had two levels here. Two hold levels with the break level that's already been tested a couple times. So I wasn't 100% confident in this. So I put my shorts up here. Okay, this is where I put my shorts. I was like, I wanted to come up here, fill the gap, get me a good entry, and then I'll take the risk and my out would be, you know, new high or something. And it didn't get there. <laughs> really what I should have done is I should have peppered orders from here and maybe put a few, three orders here and not be afraid to average that. But I didn't do that. I just, I, I went greedy. It's not the end of the world. Miss it. No big deal. So what? And um, so I didn't get entry. Then price started coming down. Um, I made a post about that, actually, about reading the, that price action and not going long. So I was 100% looking for shorts. Um, I was prepared to go long. Uh, I, I mean, go short again up here. But it needed to come back relatively soon because when we zoom out a little bit, I mean, is it a shock? It rebounded here just above. No, it shouldn't be a shock that that's where it rebounded. Um, and then big vomit. And this was a costly mistake, but being greedy, it's not a mistake. Being greedy is not a mistake. Um, but I typically pepper my orders throughout, but I didn't this time. I was just being really greedy. And, you know, not that I would have stayed in the trade the whole way, but man, that was 25 points. That's a significant move, even with one MES. That's significant. So I typically pepper my orders throughout the range. Um, one reason I didn't this time is because we did make a higher high. So I wouldn't have been surprised if price would have came down to here and then just continued its journey up. So... I can't really complain about that. I think I made the right move, but you know, even one MES uh, there would have been fine. And how far, how much heat would that have been? So six points, you know, six and a half points to the high. You know, if I could have done six, where are six points? Six points right there. So maybe if I'd have taken that into consideration, I could have been a little bit lower. So um, instead of having my first entry up here, I could have had it a little lower and still kept the six point stop loss, requiring it to make a new high. Um, so it is what it is. I'll wait for my next setup. Look at that. I uh, new overnight low. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to take out these break levels. And I'm not, and I'll tell you, if price comes back up to here, I'll take a short, but it'll be small because I'm shorting inside the range. What I'd actually prefer now is I'd actually prefer this, come back and touch, then let's go short, um, is actually what I would prefer. All right, let's see if this thing gets up here. I'll take this short with you in the, oh, in here. Let's see what happens. That's it's about 68. We're at 65. Um, 
Let's go 67. I'm going to go to 68. I'll do three contracts if it, if it goes all the way. Let's see. I'm trying to look at my chart and that. So I'll give it a back test to there. Let's see if we get in this trade. These are just MESs. Looks like I'm not going to get that entry. Because here's the other thing I watch. is This thing is camping out here. I'm not that interested. Like it really needs to come up and touch the level. If this thing doesn't come up and touch the level, I'm out. I'll remove it and I'll just wait for the next trade. As I say over and over, there are easier trades. Um, I would have preferred on that last candle it went all the way up because that would give me two candle clearance on a three-minute chart, correct? Yep, a three-minute chart. Let's see what's happening here. I would have preferred it on that candle. Um, let's see, did it make... Yeah, it did make a new overnight low. Let me double-check that with... Uh, Where is that's not what I was doing, wanting to see? I'm wanting to see this. So it's at the previous day's low um, and the overnight low here. So it also now makes me want to remove this order because I don't like that I'm bouncing off a previous day low. Um, could be heavily defended. Let's go to a 30 minute chart. Let's zoom out a little bit. Look where we're at. You see all these wicks down here. Mm hmm. Let me go turn on all my levels. I don't have them on right now. So let's go and look here. Tuesday lows right underneath me. Got a 30 minute break level. Yeah. So I don't, the short was up here. Now I feel like I'm chasing the short. So no sense in doing it right here. It's not the best trade location. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to do it because this has an area of high bounce potential and, uh, this thing has already had its 25, 30 point move. So, Hey, before I let you go, I did enter a short here, but only after we took out Tuesday's low and we wicked that 30 minute level. So I went short one measly MES. I wanted to be in the trade and so that's what I did. I'm in it and uh, we are in the profit and I'm not going to let the trade hurt me. I'll tell you that. And I went small because it is right down here at the very bottom, but we did take out Tuesday's low and wicked that 30 minute level. So taking a small chance.